Hey, what's going on guys, Pogue here, and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. This is episode number 42, and in today's episode, we're going to be actually going into a place that I just found, like, by just getting sand. Um, so, I just took my map, and I decided to go there to just get a lot of sand so that I can get a lot of glass, which I'll show you guys in a moment why. Uh, now, where exactly is my shovel? Oh, it's right here. So as you can see, I have a diamond shovel, unbreaking three and all that, which is great. It is getting nighttime, but before we go ahead and go, let me jo go ahead and, and uh, reveal to you guys what I have been working on. And guys, this is the Mineshaft Tower, and it is looking just great. Look at this thing, you guys. I mean... This turned out really nice. It is obviously not done, and uh, this is the reason why I went to get myself a lot of sand so I can kind of uh, get this done. Now, obviously, I had suggestions. What's this glass doing here? I had suggestions that I should definitely use just the glass panes. I think that's what they're called, yes. Um, and uh, that's what I did. I also had this uh, silk touch pickaxe, so it was very helpful whenever I accidentally broke something. I could just simply uh, go ahead and uh, recollect the glass so I didn't have to lose it. So let's go over to upstairs so I can sleep because the bed that I took with me actually stuck in that scent place. So let's go ahead and sleep real quick. And I'm also going to put the map here like this so I can see what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, we're going to be heading down there. Now I'm not really sure uh, what I should do. Uh, should I just kind of uh, enchant a a pickaxe maybe or a shovel or a sword? I don't really have a sword, so but then I have all these cool books that I could use later on. I guess let's just go and hopefully everything is going to be good and I'm not going to uh, lose anything. That's the tower right there, you guys. Let me know what you think. I really like it. And uh, it is the first tower that I built in this world, which is great. So the place that I went to uh, to get a lot of sand is not close because if you remember guys, I did have to uh, make the map larger so that I could find the sand biome. Now this exactly wasn't a biome, like a sand biome, but it had a lot of sand and I thought that I should just only get it from there. And uh, that's what I did. So let's go over to there. Now I could technically collect uh, the coal and iron and stuff that I will see on my way. Let's just do that, why not? Because uh, what I need to do today's episode is we're gonna go and get the stuff that I found in the chest because the thing is I was full of sand in my inventory and I did not take the stuff that I found in the chest. So we're gonna go over there to take the chest because it is just nice and plus I wanna show you guys how lucky I was to find it because that's literally not what I was looking for all I was looking for was to get a lot of sand so that I could turn it into glass then turn it into a glass pane so yeah uh, I think it's uh, well I should have been more smarter I should have actually uh, went from the further away so that I could kind of reveal the map a little bit what's going on I can't even get out this cow is on the way Okay, so let's go from here, then I'll turn it a little bit so that I'm looking at exploring this beautiful map. Oh my god. Let's see, uh, we're gonna go this way. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Here we go. I'm gonna go through here. And all the way there. I mean, this map is really zoomed out, so it's definitely not really clearly visible what I'm revealing in the map, because I think this is four by four. Yeah, so it's level four out of four, so it is definitely not so easy to see uh, what's around, but it is definitely gonna be helpful so that I could get back and do, oh, my god let me just eat this real quick because the last thing I need is to lose my levels of uh, experience because I definitely like to enchant 
Oh, oh no. Oh no. Let's get all that. I should definitely create a... The berry farm. Sweet berries farm. Definitely need to work on that soon. But again, there's also the mob spawner I want to work on. But I want to work on the mob spawner right after I finish building the mineshaft tower. I'd like to get that project completed uh, before I start doing something else. Okay, uh, we are almost there, guys, by the way. So everything should be good. We should see... Uh, we just have to go a little further than wherever my arrow is visible on the map. So whenever it's not really that visible, that's when we're much closer to it. So right about here soon I'll find it. So I'm going to go this way because it's technically around this way. Look at all the llamas that we have here. That's cool. And uh, yeah, so let's just uh, run all the way there and uh, get the stuff that I found in the chest. Now I do remember, I believe, there's just one piece of diamond there too. Uh, there was quite a bit of chest plates, like a, like a, the chain chest plates, I think it's called. So let's just uh, go and double check because I don't really remember everything that was in the chest. I know I kind of put a dirt in there too because I had, uh, I had dirt. And I was like, you know what, let me just put it in there. I don't know what else I put in it, but most of the stuff uh, obviously we're from there. Okay, let's go around because I don't want to play around with this uh, mountain. Okay. All we need is this big look. Okay, I remember this mountain, so it's on the left side of that mountain. So we are definitely close to it. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I see a lot of sand here. I believe it's not this one. It's the one right after it. That's where I got all the sand to turn it into the glass paints. Well, to the glass, then, to a, then using a work crafting table, I could just turn it into a glass paint. Let me just eat real quick, because we always want to have full health. With level 29 enchantment level, it is definitely too risky not to have enough food. All right. Um, I think, actually, I, I also remember that I might have put my... Um, I might have put my bread in there too, actually. But where exactly is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is the chest, guys. Let me go ahead and show you what's in it. Um, yeah, so there's the bread. We have diamond in it. We have heart of the sea. There's the chain chest plates. We have four of those. Some iron. And, of course, name tag. And what is this? Night vision? No, water breathing. That's amazing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this chest, of course, with it, everything. I mean, it's nice to get all this stuff, of course. And let me just go ahead and show you guys how I found this thing. Like, I wasn't, again, looking for this. I didn't have a treasure map or anything. I was just getting sand. And let me take this bed with me as well. So let me also get this coal, actually, before I show it to you guys. Because you know me. Anytime I see some cool stuff like this, I'll get it. Especially with the Silk Touch pickaxe. This is nice ore to get. And whenever I need a little experience level, I could just place it down and just use a fortune pickaxe because I have the fortune three pickaxe. But yeah, so all I was doing is just, you know, getting a lot of, a lot of sand from this place. So yeah, let me show you guys. At this moment, I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, and of course the excitement jump. Yeah, let me just get back to the world. All right, we're back. So hope you guys enjoyed that little clip there. But yeah, so that's how I ended up uh, finding this chest, which is, again, very, very uh, different. You know, I wasn't expecting it. And since I have this, uh, why not to do this as well? Just get a little bit more sand because it is going to be very, very, very useful. Especially with that huge projects coming on the way, especially like the lighting in the sidewalks. Now, I do have to go to the nether soon. Maybe um, after that, I need to go to the, um, what was it called? You know, the underwater t uh, temples and stuff. I'll probably go there too. Um, you know what? That's enough. Okay. Let's just kind of head back and uh, on my way. I'll just simply go 
is this a silk touch pickaxe? Yes, it is. Um, I honestly don't think that. I think it's this way that I actually have to go to. Uh, but yeah, so I don't really think there's any of those uh, water template, template, water temple here. So um, I'm just gonna get back and maybe, because because what I'm thinking is I wanna have some lightings in the in the corners of the mineshaft tower and I think that's gonna look really really nice so that's what I'm thinking of doing uh, but I'm not really sure if I should use glowstone or if I should use the um, sea lanterns so wow that's some a lot of drawn zombies there interesting definitely don't gonna be playing around with them and let's just use the shovel real quick so we can get out of here and of course whenever we are going to be closer to the mine chef tower and the chest room and all that I actually have to go this way uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to also complete the map a little bit now let me know guys in the comments below. Um, so for the map, if I were to use let's say the 3 out of 4 map and then I explore the entire parts of the uh, of this world, what if I were to open a new map like this one, this 4 out of 4, would it actually be fully completed? Like will this map be fully completed if I already had all of the let's say other 6 maps fully completed individually? So would this be like completed automatically? I'm not really sure. So let me know in the comments below. But I wish it would be like that because that would be super awesome. And uh, there we go. So we are finally here. So let's just kind of go through the right side here. And then we'll see how the things will be around here. Hopefully uh, we can make it back safely. Let me just get this of course. There we go. And let me get these two. All this coal is very nice to get. Look at this. There's like, what, like 10 here, I think. More than 10. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. So let's just kind of get out of here because it is getting nighttime and uh, I have to be very careful. Look how easy it is to find coal, like... So I guess whenever you guys start your first world, maybe as soon as you see a mountain, just go to it and then you'll probably find coal there. So let me know guys if that's something you've done and it actually works. Oh my god, did I just find a woodland mansion? I'm not sure if this was here or not. This might have actually appeared after I, I actually made the map larger. And wow. Oh my god, I'm so happy about that. But definitely don't want to go here. Till it's the right time and I don't think it's the right time yet. I want to kind of get some more things completed and of course have a better armor and all that before I even consider going there. I should definitely run away from here before the skeletons get me or a creeper let's say. So yeah it's also nice that because I'm, I'm kind of uh, revealing the map while heading my way back and that's why I kind of uh, picked this direction. Should be just fine, I'm guessing. It is a bit scary, you know, it's a bit dark, and uh, I am around this forest area. Okay. Did I just find a village? I might have just found a village, you guys. Or not. Wait, what? Guys, how does this happen? Has there been a village maybe here? And then when I made the map larger, did it like disappear? Because there's like this weird... There's like carrots here and then... Some parts is missing of the farm. Probably. I'll just jump down to it. There we go. Okay, let's continue further. Let's see what else we've got. I mean, this is a bit scary. Like, I'm in this forest. 
And I have no idea if there's any creeper hiding behind the tree or anything. So let me just eat real quick. Because I can't sprint yet. I mean, I could technically now, but before I couldn't. And, um, yeah, let's just kind of go back this way. There's a drowned zombie there. I don't want to play with the berries. So let's just uh, figure out a different way. I hear a skeleton. Do not shoot me, please. And, okay, more skeletons, of course. Oh, my God, this is really scary. I just realized, guys, I did take the bed from the sand area. Oh my god, look at that. I already see the tower. I already see the mineshaft tower. That is so awesome. And that's why I love building tall towers. Because if I were to be lost and I didn't have any map with me, it would be very easy to spot this beautiful tower around. And especially if I could even mark, like if I if I could go like a, in the middle of nowhere and just keep making towers and then put like a sign where and which direction should I go to in order to go to the proper location that I want to go to. Um, that's going to be really awesome too, but there you go. D don't the glasses kind of look like fences whenever you're looking under the water, like to the tower from the under the water? Okay, um, I guess it's all good. The tower is looking definitely beautiful. I'm liking it a lot. And let's just see what else we've got. Now, one more thing I have to do is, of course, sooner or later fight the ender dragon and for that I do have to first find the portal but also I have to try and get some ender pearl um, while I'm at it uh, especially it's gonna be nice to even have ender chest because if I had ender chest with me at that time when I found this treasure chest I would most likely have you know taken all the stuff and put it in an ender chest but would it, when it would have appeared there so we didn't really have to go uh, all the way there for it so let's just go sleep real quick and maybe we can also try enchanting something as well in this episode because all I need is a little bit of experience levels which shouldn't be hard whatsoever. So let's just see. Uh, let's go up here of course. It'll be nice to get a shovel with efficiency 4 on it. So what I'm thinking I should do guys is I could technically get an axe and then I can make myself a shovel. So let's kind of go ahead and do that. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly take, you know, let's say one, two, and three and the fourth, of course. And then I'll take a wood, turn that into sticks. So I'll take a diamond shovel as well as a diamond X. And then what I'll do is, I forgot about this diamond that I had uh, found. So then what I'll do is, let me just kind of get rid of all this stuff. There we go. Um, name tab of course should go here too. I mean it could technically go to the mob area Which is probably where they are if I have found some I might have or not. Hmm Yeah, I guess I haven't found name tags. I thought I had Nope, okay. Well, there's the first name tag. I guess that's pretty rare and important But yeah, so I'll just take some lapis lazuli and all I have to do is just uh Go over here, just make sure no creepers anywhere. Oh my god, this tower looks great. And here we are. So all I have to do is put this there, put that there, and let's see. Oh wait, yeah, right. I can't really do that, guys. I forgot to take the fortune pickaxe. Wait, actually, there should be glass here. So let me just take one of the glass. All these chests, I mean not chests, these furnaces, guys, are full of glass. Yes, I know, it's it's awesome. Um, so let's just go ahead and put this thing and see see what's up. I didn't even check what it was. It's going to be efficiency 4. That's definitely what I'm going to be enchanting right now. So it just gave me efficiency 4. So what I'll do is I'll probably go ahead and use this pickaxe without the efficiency 4. And then when it's about to break, I'll combine these two together. Possibly is what I'll do. And that should do it. What, what will happen if I do it to an axe? Efficiency 4. Wow, that's great. Uh, but that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description. Also, the name is POG Productions. That being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.